Time is 613. Isn't this beautiful? Thank you, Shawl Sky Cam Network, for showing the sun coming up over Altoona this morning. Kind of a cotton candy appearance to the sky. All is calm in the metro, but it's still really wet in northern Iowa, especially along the Iowa Minnesota border, and that's where we'll continue to see rounds of heavy rainfall, which is leading to some flooding issues, and we do have high humidity on the way with cooler conditions by Sunday, and that's the cold front. Don't get too excited. I'll show you that in just a moment. But first, I wanted to start off by focusing on Algona as well as Kasuth County, Webster County, Humboldt County, all in an aerial flood watch here up until 7 a.m. But this is where we've had several inches of rainfall, especially in northern Kasuth County, where you see that purple as much as four to close to five inches showing up already. We also had a band right along Highway 20 near Pocahontas and Sac City of some heavy rainfall and Montezuma reported two inches of rainfall yesterday. Most of the storms stayed along the northern border of the state, and that's where they'll stay again today. We did have some wind reports out of southeast Iowa and a few hail reports and some strong winds across northern Iowa, but the biggest threat will continue to be these heavy rain showers pushing through Mason City, Clear Lake, all waking up to some thunder, lightning. Algona still has a thunderstorm sitting around it, as well as Humboldt right along Highway 169. And these storms will continue to move off to the east. Now, I think the heaviest rain will continue to fall along the southern border of Minnesota and advance slowly off to the east. But this front is pretty much stalled out. And when we use the word unsettled, that just means when it starts to move, it will trigger more thunderstorms. This is where we saw the heaviest rainfall yesterday. That's where flash flood warnings remain in effect. We still have heat advisories to the south and more of that aerial flash flood watch in effect across the rest of the state. Tonight, there is a slight risk for strong to severe thunderstorm. Obviously, if you see an angry cloud, we want you to tune in right here to 13. We'll keep you updated. Tomorrow, the focus will be over mainly Minnesota. So let me walk you through storm path. Again, high heat, noticeable humidity, lots of sunshine this afternoon. If you're headed to a football game tonight, dress cool. It looks mainly dry, at least in the metro. Some storms popping up late along that northern border of the state. And we'll continue to see those up until this front passes through. So I do think most of Saturday will be sunny once again with those storms hitting after 10 p.m. on Saturday night. Here comes this cold front and it looks like it will be through once the sun comes up on Sunday. Now it should stay mainly cloudy on Sunday, but it will be noticeably cooler. Expected rainfall totals still the heaviest Additional rain will fall right here in between Ames and Mason City, but we could get another quarter of an inch around the city of Des Moines. On Sunday, it will be mainly cloudy. On Monday, it looks dry and comfortable. And by Tuesday, there will be another shot at some isolated thunderstorms. Temperatures today will be heating up fast. It will feel close to 100 degrees this afternoon and tonight. At the football games, it will still be sweaty. Tomorrow afternoon looks just as hot before that cold front moves through. Right now in Altoona, we're at 72 degrees and the winds are out of the southeast right around three miles per hour. You can see a few clouds there. We'll see lots of sunshine for the most part. That rain will stay along the northern border. It is going to be breezy today with a strong, noticeable south wind. High of 93. Tonight, 75 with just a few clouds. Again, a few storms popping up along that northern border. And on Saturday, lots of sunshine, 93. On Sunday, more clouds, 86. On Monday, partly sunny, 84. On Tuesday, there will be a chance of scattered storms. On Wednesday, 86. And on Thursday, 86. Wednesday and Thursday will be the first couple of days of September and will still be above average. So we're going to finish the month of August with about an inch in the rain gauge for the month, which is below where we need to be for this time of the year and a lot of heat and humidity. Today's weather rating only gets a five today because it's going to be so steamy.